So my dad got this steel FS55 weed eater off a guy at a swap meet several years back for I think around $80. And it's been a good weed eater. Uh, we really haven't had any issues with it up until this past winter. Uh, the fuel pickup line coming from the tank developed a crack and then of course it started leaking. And I was just going to replace that part, but it was for about the same price. You can get one of these replacement carburetors that come with that and everything, filter screen and all that. And also the primer bulb was pretty much shot on it. So I did that, put a new carburetor on it, and it was running good for a while. Well, Dad was running it uh, a couple weeks ago, and it started bogging down and wouldn't rev up and pretty much just lost power. So I took the new car back off. I went through it all. Made sure there wasn't any blockages, blew all the passageways out, made sure it was clean. I mean, it's basically a brand new carb anyway. But still, after reassembling it, no matter how many adjustments I tried to make to the mixture screws, I just could not get it to run right. It just won't run at wide open throttle. It runs poorly. It's actually spitting some fuel back out of the carburetor. And so now I'm going to tear it down and try to figure out what's going on. I... I have a hunch that it's possibly worn piston rings to the point where it's actually blowing by on the compression stroke and pushing fuel back out the, the intake port, and that could be causing the spit fuel back out. The only other thing I thought it might be is that it's, it's not producing a hot enough spark to keep running under a load, but it just it seems to me more like that it's probably got ring wear to the point where it's yeah, it's blowing by on the compression stroke. So I'm gonna start tearing it down and see if we can figure out what the issue is. So there's the carburetor. You can see that it's basically brand new. Shouldn't be any issues with it. And I went through it and double checked. Plug. Basically brand new. Hardly any fouling on it at all. I'd like to try to test the spark on this, although I just can't hardly get uh, where I can have a good ground. I may be able to come up with a jumper wire and put the plug back in partially, come off of that, test it, and see if it can jump this gap. Well, I had it down on the ground where I could see it a little better with this spark tester, and the spark does seem to be a little weak. I was just grounding out through the from the spark plug to the motor there, but um, it was only able to jump about a quarter inch gap here, so I'll have to do a little reading and see if that's potentially the issue, if it's weak spark causing it, not being able to uh, get proper ignition under load, but I think I'm going to continue tearing into this to see what condition the, the piston and rings are.
and there we go whether or not you can see it there is no reed valves on this type of small engine it's literally just an open intake port and as the piston comes down it's building vacuum as it gets the rings get below that port fuel and air come in it compresses the mixture some of that mixture gets pushed out the exhaust and then you have combustion so let's see what the rings look like we got a lot of a lot of carbon on top of the piston but overall I don't see a substantial amount of wear on the rings doesn't seem to be scarred up inside the cylinder seems to be in pretty good shape it's got me thinking that maybe the issue is actually with the ignition coil not getting hot enough spark yeah it just doesn't seem like the piston rings are worn down enough that it would be causing issues so i think i'm going to reassemble it and look into that ignition Well, after taking this thing apart, I don't think I've really fixed anything, but from looking it over, looks like my initial guess at it being worn rings is potentially not the case. It's looking more like it's an ignition issue now. I've got a weak coil, so I think I'm going to put it back together, try to run it, just confirm that it's doing the same thing now after cleaning up the piston a little bit, which I'm sure that's not going to make a difference. I've got a good clean spark plug. And then I may get out the oscilloscope, actually, and look at the secondary ignition waveform, if possible, just to see what that looks like. But without having a real good method to test, I mean, I did 
used the the spark tester and it did seem pretty weak it was not jumping the gap very far I'm starting to lean towards it being a bad ignition coil so let's see what she does So, still having the same issues before. I'll have to do a little more investigation. After tearing it all down, looking over the piston, the rings, the cylinder, you know, I've already went through the carburetor, it's good. I think uh, pretty much, unless it's the ignition system, which I was getting some spark, and this is not a very high compression engine, so, you know, I thought it did seem a little weak, but it's probably good enough. So one thing that I've kind of overlooked was the exhaust. So I'm going to tear into the exhaust here and actually see if um, it's got a plugged up spark arrestor. If that's the case, which is, you know, a problem on some vehicles when you get the cats plugged, they uh, bog down and just lose all power. So it may actually be what the deal is. So I'm going to pull that out, clean it up and see if that fixes the issue. Well, I'd say that's the issue right there. Plugged up spark arrestor. Look at that. It is just completely fouled up. Something as simple as that. I've been chasing my tail for a week now or so trying to figure this out. You know, first you check fuel. It's getting fuel. You check spark. It's getting spark. Compression. Everything checked out there. Look like it's got compression. Well, no exhaust so get that cleaned up put it back in see if we can get it running Well, there you have it. Other than the original trouble with the uh, cracked fuel line, new carburetor on this and she's running like a top. Just a plugged up spark arrestor is what it was. That completely slipped my mind too. It'd been an easy thing to check first off, but learned a little more about these engines and uh, got it fixed. <laughs>